In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between author searching and title searching, although to be fair, the difference is fairly minimal, and by minimal, I literally mean one thing is different. So it's probably going to be a pretty short video. When you're in the database, let's say you know the name of the person you're looking for, then you know the name of the author. You only want books that were written by that person. So let's say your person is Robert Jordan. Many of you may know who that is, many of you probably don't. Too bad, I do. If you leave it at all fields, it's going to do a keyword search for these two words. Doesn't care where it's going to find it. It's just going to find the words Robert and Jordan and bring up everything, which is going to be a huge list of stuff. If you change it to say author, it's only going to look in one area of each record. And when I do my search, I'll show you. So here are all the books that were written by somebody named Robert Jordan. And it doesn't care if it's Robert Jordan, Robert T. Jordan, Robert Paul Jordan, Robert H. Jordan. It doesn't care. It just says, okay, there's Robert, there's Jordan. Here we go. This is the only place in the record that the search looked for what you typed in, because this is the name of the main author. That's it. That's, that's how an author search works. You type in what you want, and it will spit it back out at you. Now, I would like to point out that in the actual record, the last name is listed before the first name. You know, it used to be that when you did these searches, you had to list Jordan, Robert. You don't have to do that anymore. Welcome to the age of technology, blah, blah, blah. You just type in the name you're looking for, hit search, you're good, as long as you change this drop-down menu to say author. Now, let's say instead you're looking for a title. You don't know the name of the author, but you know the title. And let's say the title is Moby Dick. If you switch to say title, it's going to look for the words Moby Dick. Instead of in the author line, it's going to look right up here in the title. Okay. Obviously, this is not the title that you're looking for. So here are all 13 titles with Moby Dick in them. And again, click on the title, goes into the record, Boom, there's the title, Moby Dick's right there. You found what you were looking for. It's really only useful if you know the information you're looking for, if you know the title of the book, if you're looking for something specific, uh, or if you know who the author is, but you don't know what that person's written. That's how you do author and title searches. They're not difficult, really, I promise you. They do require you to come in with some knowledge, though. Be aware of that, come in, know what you're looking for, type it in, change your drop-down menu to whichever one you need, hit find, you should find it.